everyone and welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be doing part two of trying new essence goodies and since before i think two months ago or something they came out with a whole bunch of new stuff on their main collection and i was able to grab like the majority 70 80 percent of it which i reviewed in a previous video which i will leave in a card up here and down below in the description but there were a lot of like eye goodies and lip goodies that i wasn't able to get my hands on sometimes the retailer that i go to like they have the small essence stand so yes they brought some of the new stuff but not all of them but that's good for me because now i have everything and i'm gonna review everything right now my face looks crazy that's because i have half of the stuff done like bronzer contour obviously my base and before we jump into the video you know it make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the little bell notification button whatever it is because apparently youtube does not show the videos to anyone anymore and of course don't forget to follow me on my social media that will be somewhere down here i believe so we can chat and you can choose my next video and of course you know without further rumbling let's get into the video guys today I made my first iced coffee and I'm loving it so much we are going today to start with the eyes because I have a bunch of new eye goodies here so let's start with that let me zoom you in a little bit closer and let's get started so for the eyes I'm going to be going in with the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette I think I want to make something like pinky and purpley that's thunder. So I want to go with something pinky or purpley and you will see why when I want to show you the stuff that I got. So we will start with this shade right here which is like a fuchsia and I know it has a little bit of gold glitter in it so hopefully, fingers crossed, it doesn't show that much on the eyes. Juvia's Place eyeshadows in general are just incredible. Like I have no words for these eyeshadows. I've never touched more buttery and pigmented eyeshadows ever in my life of course with more colorful shades you do lose quite a bit of pigment when you start blending so i'm just gonna you know build this up you guys if you ever like overdo it with your eyeshadow probably you will already know this but all you have to do is take a little bit of your powder and just go on top but right now i don't need to do that i look like i've been punched it's the time that I told you that I kind of like, you know, overdid it a little bit with the eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna grab a powder and I'm just gonna go onto the edges and kind of, you know, diffuse the situation a little bit. This step scares me because I'm not a professional of makeup. Whenever it comes to darkening up like an eye color and going smoky, I'm getting kind of scared because I'm like, okay, what if this doesn't go the way I want it to go? But we have to be brave. Now I'm gonna go into this matte shade right here, which is more like a burgundy aubergine. It's like the darker version of this one, basically. I'm just not very good with colors. The reason I've taken this brush is because I want to kind of like map out where I want this color to be. And then I'm just gonna blend more into my crease. Go. I think this will do. I'm just gonna pack some more here on the outer corner. So now we're jumping into the Essence Liquid Eyeshadows and they have two sides. They're called Story of My Eyes and from one side this is my color and the other side says my glam. And I've got two shades here. I've got Journey to the Orient and the other one is Road Tripping. We've got these two and what I wanted to do was use this color family sort of I just wanted to go with like blues and reds and purples and all that whilst you know like this greenish silver would just mm, it would actually go but it would completely change the look I'm going for that blue is beautiful I will put pink in my inner corner red in the center and like it transitions sort of to the blue fingers crossed it will look just Fine. Taking a little bit of my concealer today, I use the MAC Pro Longwear underneath my eyes and everything that I have on my face will be listed down below as well. And then I'm just gonna sort of spread the concealer a little bit just so we have an even base. Sometimes what I also like to do is just while I have this going, take a little bit of my beauty blender and just make this 
see how even it just made it right, let's do this it looks looks okay it's just like not wowing me right now using this one right now I'm gonna use this here on the outer corner now I need to blend these two like super quickly before one of the two dries and then we never have a blending happening turned it sort of into a purple here which I really like oh the gradient is beautiful are you kidding me Ooh, yes because the red one doesn't want to seem to stick onto my lid whoa no 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 that took everything off of my eyelid holy moly so i'm gonna go back into that dark purple that we got and just shove it there in my outer corner just to try and blend this purple this blue out sorry not a purple it's a very exciting time because last time you guys saw me i picked up some glitter and i used some gold glitter on my eyes but i didn't grab this glitter which is in the shade 15 cotton candy and it's one of their loose glitters as well and i'm going to need a paper for that because if you buy these glitters be careful they are filled all the way to the top like they are full of product so be careful before you open them you guys loose powders are my struggle i'm using the nyx glitter primer i'm gonna put it everywhere that is still there Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty the middle shade looks very very muddy to me i think i might just i don't know i might just pull the glitter all the way to the end you see here how beautiful it looks and then the second i start like doing this business you see how it kind of like disappears from my hand and it starts becoming splotchy and the second you try to put more on top it just becomes more splotchy can you guys see that that's so beautiful oh my god see with essence i do find a little bit of like hits and misses with the products like some of them will be bomb and from the same exact like collection some of them will be mm. moving on to the next thing that i hope is not a fail i get really stressed when i get items that don't work the way i want them to or the way that i intend to use them like this red shadow, the second I saw it separate, I'm like, oh my god, what am I gonna do now? What am I gonna do? I need to add something to this look to spice it up even more. We have the Essence Crystal Eyeliners, and I picked up two shades. The more greeny one is called Bad Liar, and the blue-purple one is called Breaking Dark. It kind of looks like they have a you know like see a black base and then it reflects onto the light the blue one would make it too dark i think i'm gonna go with the green one and just create a line right above where we cut the crease i'm gonna say it right now i might be out of frame with that because i'm blind and I have to go really close to my mirror to do like detailed work if you look at the packaging they look so beautiful like this looks like a metallic blue purple and this one looks like a metallic green blue and then on the eye it just has so much of like the base color which for the blue one is black and for the green one is like a, a brown shade and it just like i have to tilt like this for you to see a little bit of the green reflection onto my eyes which i'm not gonna lie does make me a little bit sad i'm gonna take this tiny little brush and i'm gonna dip into this green right here and i'm gonna go a little bit on top of this line see that changed it a little bit now it reflects a little bit more green which is exactly what i wanted from the start and now i'm starting to leave for this eye look that is gorgeous back into the starting fuchsia shade that we got and that's a lot of pigment back to the more dark shade i'm just gonna add it right there at the corner and drag it a little bit underneath since we have gone there with all the glam i might as well go all the way and add the black pencil liner all over like in my waterline and my tight line i'm just gonna go off camera right now finish the other eye pop the lashes on and i'll be back for the finishing touches which we have more essence goodies for so stay tuned i added some house of lashes iconics and this eye is a 
huge disaster. It came out patchy and the eyeliner didn't come out smooth as this one and my lash does not want to stick down properly. So next up we have a brow product that I really wanted to try last time and I couldn't get. This is the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Powder. It says feel and shape and my shade is in 01 brown. Ooh, this is what the applicator looks like. Let's do a swatchy. Ooh, it's actually powder, but it's so opaque powder. Let's see what it can do to my brows. I'm gonna take a spoolie first. Hopefully this is like a little bit of a bold eyebrow day because with all the situation happening on the eyes, we need to balance it on the rest of the face. I'm just gonna paint on some like pretend hair. Let's try to do the tail of my brow. You see how pigmented it is as well. The only downside to that is that you can't be sharp enough with like your tail and everything, but the product and the powder inside, they are really, really good. It does have a little bit of fallout as a product, like when you're like brushing it on, it just falls all over your face, but you know what, I can work with that. If I want to be quick out of the door, this is the product I'm gonna be using from now on. Just make sure you flick off the fallout, because like I said, it comes out of this applicator and there's a lot of powder on it, so it's natural that the powder is gonna fall everywhere. Right, so now I'm just gonna finish up my face and then we're gonna go straight on to lips. I'm really sorry guys, there's like constructions going on outside of my house, there's a school, there's constructions, there's, there's a million things every time. Okay, so I have two new products right here. I'm not sure I'm gonna finish the look with any of these two, but we're definitely gonna try them on the lips. I'm gonna first start with the Essence Cuddly Cushion Gloss in the shade or flavor Honey. It has a little cushion at the top, which is not my favorite on anything. I, it, I just feel like the cushion keeps too much product in it and it's kind of like a um, twist up. So we need to wait for the product to actually reach the cushion. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I guess I just need more product. Oh, it smells exactly like honey. It looks like I'm not wearing anything on my lips, so I would wear it probably on an, on an everyday basis as a lip balm, just to keep my... can't speak. <laughs> I would use it on an everyday basis just to keep my lips moisturized, maybe, but as a lip gloss on top of something, I would skip on that one. Okay, moving on to the next lip product, which I'm not gonna wear either, but that's just because of the shade that I chose. This is the Essence This Is Me Nude Lipstick with Shea Butter, and it's one of these click up. Um, lipstick, so we're gonna sit here and click it up for a little bit. Oh, this feels real nice, okay. This is so comfortable. It's a semi-matte finish. Like, the more it stays on my lips, the more it goes towards the matte finish. It's satin, obviously, for now. Or it might stay satin, I don't know. But it just gives the most... I don't know, it's so comfortable, it's like I'm wearing nothing, it's like I'm literally wearing lip balm. It has a better texture than this one, which is meant to be like a caring lip gloss lip balm. I'm really, really, really liking this. I'm thinking I'm gonna buy all of the shades and do a lip swatch video for you guys. So that is a hit, but I think we have to go a little lighter on the lips. So this is the entire look completed. I mean, I can say that I'm really, really obsessed with the eyes and I'm just gonna go on a quick rundown of what I liked, what I didn't. And when it comes to these liquid eyeshadows, I'm gonna say that I do like the texture. It's very thin and they have like pretty colors, but so far I tried only these two and the red one was like, when you put it on without disrupting it, it's beautiful. But obviously when you put on liquid eyeshadow, you do want to be blending it as well. Or maybe you want to blend it into another color, like I did onto uh, this eye at the start. Blue one looks beautiful. It blends out beautifully. You can still see the color. Like I don't have any dark uh, purple on my outer corners as an eyeshadow. It's just this shade right here and it blends that out beautifully. You can even use it as like a base color for your makeup. These two, I would say, skip the red one and go for the blue one. As for the others, they still have, I think, three or four more 
different shades i have not tried the others next up we will go for the eyeliners now i have found that these eyeliners are a little bit misleading on their packets like this is a green blue and this is a blue purple and as you can see you can barely see any green on my eyes so it's a little bit misleading they have too much base color and not enough shimmer and glitter into them so the color like pops and they're actually called the crystal crash eyeliner so you're expecting to put it on your eyes and it's like boom crystally blue crystally green which is not the case i would say if you really want to go with this one and you don't care and you just want to use them as an eyeliner that i think that would be beautiful as like a normal eyeliner and then when you turn your head it just sparkles blue or green and the other thing you can do like I did is just pop them on and then pop a little bit of like shimmery eyeshadow on top just to intensify the color for these ones I'm a little bit on the fence I don't think they're that great but I don't think they're bad either so I would say still go for them they're really like affordable I think they're on about three euros so if you want something colorful and to experiment and to play with I would say just go for it so the glitter was I think my favorite holographic baby pink purple glitter i'm dying i love it but of course i knew it anyway i have three more of their other glitters i'm holding it in a way you can't see i have here three more of their glitters and i used this gold one in my previous video i absolutely love them i actually want the whole range and they also have loose pigments so you can actually use a little bit of inglo duraline in there and just have a beautiful metallic eyeliner as well so that is the definitely the next thing i will be experimenting with getting some of these in pigments next up we have my favorite product of the day which is the make me brow eyebrow powder i love this look how natural it's made my eyebrows look i freaking love this product again super affordable i've got mine in the shade of brown and there's only one more which i think is taupe or blonde i'm not sure so if you're able to match yourself to one of the two i i'm telling you go and get it if you love a natural and quick brow i was like whoosh, whoosh, you guys saw me in the video spoolie brow gel done out the door the cuddly cushion gloss not crazy about i don't know what the deal is with that one when i wear a lip balm i just don't want to feel like i'm wearing anything and this one i feel like i've actually put like honey and you know how honey feels a little bit thicker now they do have other stuff as well i think they have like the, an oily one and a milky one so so you might be able to actually find exactly the consistency that you want on a gloss but then again there are not testers so you can't be 100 percent sure and because this one just didn't do with me and I feel like you will run out of product really quickly like the product was down here and for me to get some product out the product went up here so I feel like you would run out of it super quickly as well so I'm not like too hot about this item the this is me nude lipstick with shea butter or shea butter however you call it is amazing like the quality of this lipstick is just too good it's more of a satin finish it smells really good as well it's so comfortable the lips it smells really good you cannot feel you're wearing it now i can't tell you about the longevity of it but thinking that it's a satin finish you'll probably want to put it with a lip liner underneath and then just keep on reapplying during the day but i really don't mind again super affordable it has really nice color payoff it's really beautiful and it has more nude shades in the collection and i'm thinking that i'm actually gonna go buy all of them and do a lip swaps video for you guys so stay tuned for that one i think that was pretty much everything everything else that i used on my face will be of course linked down below as always summer coffee to finish it off i think that is all that i had to show you today i hope you got a full view on the whole new collection from essence all of the new products that will stay in their collection that just came out about two months ago i want to thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you on my next video bye bye Storms we chase and leave